Welcome back to another Between the Studs. We have an exciting episode. We're standing outside of our beautiful Shadow Creek Monaco model home, and today we get to talk about cabinets. Yeah, and you can see we have a couple of uh, custom cabinets here from DMB Custom Cabinets, one of our amazing trade partners, and they are making some beautiful cabinets here. Yeah, and we decided to pick up the cabinets in our beautiful 1951 Chevy pickup. <laughs> and the reason we decided, because we're going to talk a little bit about the history of cabinets in the 40s and 50s, so why not pick it up in a 50s truck? Yeah, so this truck here, it actually has has a 216 cubic inch inline oh. six oh. Oh. <laughs> pipe down over there. This is a good truck. <laughs> this thing goes 45 miles an hour. What? And how many uh, horsepower? 92? 92, 92 horsepower. <laughs> that was big back in the day. It was. We're Bonnie, scared. you know. We're, we're getting ready to take this boat up to one of our mini lakes in northern yep. Indiana. This is a 1960 oh, vintage Woody. Vintage Woody. It's also called a resorter. It's 16 foot seven long, and this is African mahogany. Oh, you don't get any better than this. What's guy. yours? Well, I tell you what, that doesn't get to the water without a truck like this. So <laughs> there's that. <laughs> Well, hey guys, let's get back to talking about cabinets. Let's talk about some of the anatomy, the nomenclature when it comes to cabinets. And let's start, first talk about the doors. Uh, typically when it comes to doors, there's three main options. You've got raised panel, you've got flat panel, and then a lot of times we'll use a glass panel, which we've used a lot inside our Shadow Creek model here. Then you, on top of the door here, we've got a drawer. So when you pull this out, you've got a drawer box with the glides on the side. Then we've got a drawer front or the face. So the next component we have um, is the face frame here. So this is what the door actually connects to and gives a place for the hinges to connect into. So we also have styles and rails on this. So the styles being the vertical pieces and the rails being the horizontal pieces. Then we have our, our hardware, our hinges. So those can be hidden or visible, um, just depending on the look that you're looking for. And then we also have our end panel. So we don't have one on this, but it would actually be a panel that completes this with the finished look. So that way if it's exposed, it's a nice finished look. Next we have our toe kick. Now our toe kick is a recessed opening in the bottom of the cabinet. So that way when you're up there doing dishes or working at the counter, you can stand up next to the counter and you don't actually have to stand away and reach out for what you're doing. A lot of information regarding cabinets, but Tony and I've got to get back to this boat yep. and then we're going to go inside and look at the real deal. That's good for We want this right. mirror, mirror yeah, shine this here, yep. Bonnie. Welcome to Between the Studs. We are Granite Ridge Builders, custom builders serving Northern Indiana, Northwest Ohio, and also parts of Southern Michigan. We have been building custom homes for almost two decades, and we're really passionate about what we do. So join us today as we explore the processes, the trends, and also tips that characterize today's new home. Thanks for watching. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I had a lot of fun cool. working on the wood boat cool. today. Yeah. Man, built in the 1960s, but restored in 2010. We got a brand new boat out there, essentially. Yeah. And looking through these pictures, I mean, they tore it down to the framing, all new wiring, engine, everything. You guys even got a certificate of authenticity. We here. know it's real. We know it's real. We just need to get it to float now. Guys, guys, it's a wood boat. If you want a wood boat to float, you got to keep it in the water. That's what I heard, but nobody told me that ahead of time. And we got a sinker out there. Oh, you, we got an anchor. You would think we're in construction. We would understand. We would know right? that. Had a, it was swell. You know what my grandpa always said? The only difference between a man and a boy is the price of his toys. Uh, that's oh. very true. <laughs> but let's talk about the kitchen. The kitchen I like the cabinets. Yes. Yeah. Okay, guys, we got to start. So, um, would, what? Where are Tony and Izzy? We're missing Where are they? Where are guys, I'm telling funny. you, we could not wait until that thing got poured. We had to get started right now. Oh, Tony, that hurts, man. Come on. Oh, hey, oh, hey, Window. Hey, watch it. Oh, wow. Well. Pickle yeah, ball yeah. court yeah. looks ball. great. It's ready to go. We couldn't, we couldn't just, we had to get out there right away even before it was poured. It's fantastic out there. I think I need to apologize to the audience already, but <laughs> let's get started. Okay, hey, welcome back. We are going to be talking about cabinets today, and specifically, we're going to be talking about the trend-setting cabinets here in the Monaco on this show. This is our 17th episode featuring this amazing, beautiful, somebody give me some words here, I'm running out of Magnificent. <laughs> Magnificent. There we go. I like that one. Uh, this is a beautiful house up here. We're calling it the Monaco. Head north on Coldwater Road, and it's on your left-hand side as you're going out of Fort Wayne. And on our last episode, we talked about trim and trimscaping the Monaco, which is really important to define the style and uh, all of the character of this home. We demonstrated how trim work can really have a magical effect on a home. It can enhance the look of the windows, the casing, the doors, and it transforms everything that you see by just adding a little bit of trim. Well, we talked about how the trim phase really defines the personality and character of a home, but the cabinet phase is even more important. Mm -hmm. We call the cabinet stage oftentimes the glorious stage 
because it demonstrates the incredible beauty in the home and also the awesomeness and the quality in the home. And as we look into the trend-setting, magnificent cabinets that we're gonna have throughout this entire home, we do need to do a bit of a deep dive on the word cabinet itself. Historically, the kitchens in the 1890s or early 1900s, they just had an iron stove or oven, maybe a freestanding table to work on, sometimes a pantry, and then they'd have open shelving. And a lot of times you would put your cups on that shelf, so that's where we got the term cupboards. Oh. The first time we had a technological breakthrough with cabinets and the first time we used the word cabinets was when we had a multifunctional use uh, workstation and it was called the Hoosier cabinet Ooh. made here in Ooh. Newcastle, Ooh. Indiana. Wow. And that Hoosier cabinet was such a massive success. They sold over two million of them. Yeah. That's a lot. It, and, it be, and it made Indiana be known as the kitchen cabinet capital of the world. <laughs> Here, I always thought it was the Indy 500, but it is all about the cabinets. And Tony and Lonnie, you guys will remember this in the 1920s. You'll see, <laughs> as the cabinets you see behind us with the, uh, the upper and the base cabinet, that trend really took over ki kitchen cabinetry. And then in the 1930s, we saw the ice box make its way in, and that was a huge revelation for us. Yeah, it was in the 1940s that we started seeing the first sink base cabinet starting to show up. And then 1950s, after World War II, is when we first started seeing the first metal cabinets. Ooh. Is that also when we got the avocado green or was that later on? No, that's, in the, that's in the 1960s where we had the flush and flat uh, cabinetry that had the beautiful, colorful appliances. Uh, and then the 1970s, we got back to the dark wood with the brass accents. And then in the 1980s, more of the beige woods, more storage though. Kitchens were a little bigger with more storage. Then the 90s, I remember that well, <laughs> the light oak cabinets and then the white appliances. Remember when the smooth top white range came out? It's yeah, we, back we, in trend, we, I have to say. Hey, we remember birch and now you never see a birch cabinet. Birch no. used to be beautiful. No. Yeah. That all might be true, but here at Granite Ridge and at the Monaco, we define cabinets as innovative and fine quality, as well as a timeless trend-setting furniture cabinet. Now you can see some of the cabinets behind us, but before we give you a sneak peek of all the other cabinets inside this beautiful home, I think we need to give the audience kind of an idea of the thought process that went behind all of these design selections. Mm -hmm. Well, our design team has literally spent our countless mm -hmm. hours going over and over to make sure that we had all the latest trends, all everything that's coming in, but also that timeless design here in the Monaco. The designers want the Monaco to be an inspiration to anybody who's thinking about building. I would say if you're not thinking about building, this is what you come in and you're like, honey, I can't go home to my house. We have to build a new house. So here's what we did. We decided to ask the decorators and the designers for you and ask them what was your visions and thoughts and why did you pick the certain cabinets you did for here at the Monaco? And here's some of those answers. So we had a lot of things to think about, and one of the big things you really have to take into consideration with cabinets is appliances. And how are we gonna design around those appliances? And we're not just talking refrigerator, dishwasher, and stove. We are talking about microwaves, range hoods, coffee makers, uh, kegerators, and pizza ovens, and- uh, And lions, and, and tigers, and, and bears, oh my. It feels like it, that's for sure, so. Did you see Mike's <laughs> eyes light up when you said kegerator? <laughs> no, just, I'm, with like, yeah. okay, I'm looking we're forward to the appliance segment because I heard Lonnie's going to talk about ranges and ovens. <laughs> and one other appliance is the range. Did I say it right? Is it right? I don't know now. I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> oh, with we're charity. We <laughs> yes, we put them on that for sure. Uh, but all of those are really great considerations. It makes it complicated but fun because it's really great to be able to design those items with a user and a homeowner in mind and make sure that it's going to be really a well-crafted space for them to use the home in the future. So we love doing that and we can't wait to really show you more about why we did what we did here in this home. And cabinet color is very important. So they made some excellent decisions out here because not everything is the same, but they all blend together for a very cohesive look. And we've talked a lot on Between the Studs how important color plays a role when it comes to your home. 
And that's one thing the designers have to do when they're looking at any home, especially the Monaco here when it comes to making sure the cabinets, the cabinet colors, the themes, they flow throughout the entire house because we have cabinets in how many rooms in here? 47? <laughs> yes. uh, Whatever number you pick is right. <laughs> and so when they're putting all that together and the key about this is this is how we attack every home. Not just our models, but every home when people come in and talk to us about it, we're going to ask you those same questions so that your home can look equally as great. Okay, stay tuned. What we're going to do now is we're going to go to some of those certain areas and have them define for you some of the ideas that we're putting in those, as you can see behind us. They're not all finished yet, but all the visions and things that they've thought about, we're going to show you those in the different areas. So stay tuned. You're not going to want to miss this segment. Elizabeth and I are standing in probably the most important spot of the home, and that is the kitchen here at the Monaco. We get to talk about all of the decisions going into the kitchen cabinets, the prep kitchen, and there's so many considerations that we really thought through, and we're going to explain a lot of them right now. Well, I've anticipated this moment for several months, and this kitchen does not disappoint. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. Different things you've done in this kitchen that we don't normally see. The inset cabinetry, mm -hmm. doors. Absolutely beautiful. So what really stands out is going to be the style of the cabinets and how we did the door style. Now, this kitchen is super important for the style, but it's also very important for the function. We want to make sure that this kitchen and the prep kitchen really maximizes your time, your efficiency, your organization as you're using the space. We have a nine foot island, so there were a lot of considerations mm -hmm. that you took into place there. We're going to have a waterfall edge with the countertop, so there's a lot of things to think about because we have to have a plug on this island. Mm -hmm. And Kayla, I was talking about this cute little door, <laughs> mm -hmm. and right now there's nothing here, but you explained there is a purpose. Absolutely. We get to hide the outlet so that way we don't disrupt the view of our beautiful waterfall edge. And so that's what we mean. We really take into a lot of consideration from the organization and functional purposes of this kitchen. We have so many accessories to really enhance your experience in the kitchen. We have trash pullouts and spice racks. One of my favorite features that we did was a refrigerator panel in cabinets. That way you don't have as much metal stainless steel look and it really is a seamless, beautiful look with that refrigerator cabinet panel. And I love that a lot of different things were brought in. So we have stained, we have black painted and we have white and boy is this impressive. Absolutely. Again, like you said, it is beautiful as well as functional. I love the little touches of glass so that way we can really show off some of our favorite pieces and make a statement. But the prep kitchen, again, we went for a lot of function but still some really gorgeous touches. We have great organization, tons of storage to be able to really maximize that space as well as a full kitchen in there so you have extra space to prep. But my favorite out of all has to be the coffee bar that we have in that prep kitchen. You're not going to want to miss it. Come out to the Monaco to take a look at all these features. Izzy, we are in my second favorite room. We all know which room is my favorite in this house. We are standing in one of four laundry rooms in the Monaco. That's right, we have... That's right. How many? One, two, three, four laundry rooms in the Monaco. That's wow. right, yes. And this one is a lovely shade of... Go ahead. Mauve? No. Pink? Sachet sand. That's what my I was friend. Say. Yes. yes. This laundry room is gorgeous. Listen, if you lived in this house and you had this laundry room, you would love doing laundry. That's how great it is. And it's not just a laundry room. We have made this laundry room so functional. There is a tech nook in here. There's a drop station where you can put your mail. You can come pay your bills. You wouldn't even mind paying your bills if this were your laundry room. <laughs> I'm telling you. It is so functional. It has everything you need in a laundry room, but also, very pretty too. And well, as a man, you know, the thing is that I, I, I am one of the only men has trouble throwing their clothes into the hamper. And this one, we have such hidden hampers that it's going to be a fun game. I think I'm actually going to put my stuff in the hamper. Right. Three laundry hampers in these beautiful cabinets that have a full overlay in these cabinets, great big handles. Mm -hmm. So even, you know, kids with their big chubby hands can get their hands <laughs> in these uh, handles. Lots of great things. But you know, like we said, one of four laundry rooms. There's also a laundry room in the master closet that mm -hmm. has a great steam cabinet in it. That's it has, what I'm excited for too. Yes, it has a stacking washer and dryer in that laundry room as well too. Also laundry room 
upstairs so kids yep. can, you know, do their own laundry up there. And you mentioned the cabinetry in here, but we are floor to ceiling, 10 foot tall. I mean, I've got to bring a step ladder in here to use anything, but we're talking about floor to ceiling, 10 foot tall ceilings, cabinets upon cabinets upon cabinets in here. Well, that would happen if it were eight foot for you, but that's okay. beside the All point. Right. Uh, yeah, but also they're so clean looking. I mean, mm -hmm. right now we've got a little construction dust in here. <laughs> Don't look up, but they've got disappearing hinges. So everything's nice. nice and sleek and clean in here. And it goes well too. We've got these fantastic shiplap. All the walls are shiplap behind these cabinets. So everything looks so sleek and clean in here. 36 linear feet of cabinets in here. Listen, you got plenty of storage space. So if you want to clean up your act, come hang out with us here at the Monaco. You like that? Uh -huh. Clean it up at the yeah. Monaco? Is that how it works? So Kayla and I are standing in what is going to be the primary bathroom and spa. And my first question, <laughs> What, what's going on here? This is really cool. It is a really cool reeded glass design for a linen cabinet in the master spa. We're not in there yet. They have to set the tile first, but we have the pieces to be able to look at what's going to be and is going to be amazing. It's amazing. By the way, I opened up this drawer and this, wa this waste basket is way too small. Look Hi. at that. It is not a waste task. Really? What is it? <laughs> it is a holder for, it's a container for a uh, hair dryer, straightener, curling irons, and we even have a convenient plug in the drawer. So the it is, makes it super handy, convenient. You can store those in there, plug. You don't have to have your countertop all cluttered. So again, just the many things we think about to make this house amazing. It's pretty amazing. And as I look around, I see a lot of different styles, <laughs> particularly of doors and drawers. Yes. What do we got going on here? Yes, well, I love being able to differentiate homes by the cabinet style itself. So what you see in this one, what was called an inset panel, and that is because the doors and drawers are inset of the frame. You see the frame around the outside and the doors and drawers are inside of That's that. That's clean. No toothpaste on the top of this one. <laughs> That's very true. So that is handy for that. Other styles that you'll see throughout the home are going to be maybe a full overlay where the entire door and drawer covers the entire frame. Um, what our typical standard is might be a partial overlay. You'll see that in many of our homes where you'll see a little bit of the frame around every door and drawer. So a lot of different styles and options when it comes to how how you uh, construct the cabinetry itself. And it goes without saying, but all the doors and drawers are soft closed, aren't they? Absolutely. Soft closed doors and drawers in this home, which make it very convenient. I love that feature. And we have a lot of other features that we've thought about for the master spa. We have a large double sink vanity and lots of space for all of your things. I really love the Bohemian Rattan cabinet door style and the half bath. It's not the master spa, but you can't ignore the half bath. It is beautiful. We have coffee bar in the spa here. We have tons of drawers. And one of the really cool features that we have done was when it comes to the countertop itself, it's going to be a nice deep countertop edge to enhance the look of this area. Those are neat features and I know you could go on and on. So oh, yeah. Go on and on. <laughs> okay, we'll keep going because those are just of the cabinets. When it comes to the master spa itself, we have heated tile floors. We have a steam shower. In the closet, we have a steam chest. So we have a steam shower and a steam chest for your clothes, a stackable washer and dryer. We have a separate uh, stool area for privacy, the beautiful, amazing tub with the window behind it as a great setting. Again, Lonnie, like you said, I can go on and on but I don't want to spoil all of it. So you really need to come out to the Monaco to see all these finishing touches. I am excited. I'll be one of the first ones here. All right, Mike, we are standing in front of one of our two outdoor kitchens. Now we're on the lower level or the lower mezzanine. This is gonna be completely screened in, all weatherproof too. Uh, this is a thousand square feet, but we've got another thousand square feet on that nice veranda with those scissor trusses. And then we've got a lot more outdoor living even past this. We've lost track of how many square feet of outdoor living we have. Yeah, we, we really have brought the inside out mm -hmm. here with this property and we've, we've made it so that way it's so comfortable outside. We're gonna have a, a, a pizza oven, a kegerator, out here so you're, you're never going to want to go back inside the house so let's talk a little bit about some of the outdoor cabinetry that we have involved with this house yeah so the outdoor cabinetry we've got stainless steel and it's all going to be encased with this beautiful stone so it's going to be a nice timeless look and it's going to withstand any weather that you can throw at it but now the inside cabinets 
Traditionally, you have two choices. You can either do painted or you can do stained. Uh, and for a while there, stain was kind of on its way out. I'd say it's on its way back in, but there's some considerations that you need to take of when you're thinking of stain and cabinets. Yeah, look, we really need to consider how that stain is going to show through on that wood. There's so many different woods out there. There's hickory, there's alder, there's oak, there's maple, mahogany like on the boat. Yep. There's just so many things that you can choose from and everyone's gonna take stain differently and some of them have very closed grain patterns. Some of them have very open grain patterns. Some of them you can't even pick up the grain like the poplar. So it really depends on what you're looking for, but that's why we've got so many great designers and best yet, we have a 15,000 square foot showroom and we've got samples of most of those woods there and with stain so you can see how that grain's going to affect with it. All right, Mike, so we were talking about interior cabinets. Let's jump back out to the exterior. Let's go over the list of everything that we've got available in this house, all on the exterior kitchen. So we talked about this kitchen down here already. So right upstairs above us, we're gonna have composite cabinets up there that are made out of more of like a decking material yes. that'll never fade or weather in, in the outdoors. We're gonna have a flat top grill up there. We're gonna have a full grill up there. There's gonna be a refrigerator drawer out there. There's gonna be a full kitchen sink in there as well. And then it's gonna be all accented by that beautiful stone fireplace up there as well. Yeah, you were not kidding when you said we have no reason to go inside. Everything from our kitchen needs, but we have it covered outside. So I can't wait to see this finished and get I the first ready. pizza off of this oven. There we go. Let's go check the upstairs. Charity, we are down here in one of the favorite spots of the home and we get to talk about all the amazing features in the basement at the Monaco. But first we need to talk about a really cool trend and that's range hoods. Absolutely, and we have got a range hood down here. <laughs> this rustic hickory material on this range hood behind us is absolutely gorgeous. And you'll notice the shape of it too. Mm -hmm. We're kind of going to a more simplistic shape on absolutely. range hoods instead of a, an ornate. Mm -hmm. um, that's really the trend. Yes, absolutely. I love that it's made out of cabinets. That's what we're talking about with the cabinet show. But range hoods are still cool when they're appliance hoods as well. And the kitchen upstairs is going to be gorgeous. It is huge. It is beautiful. And it is brass gold. And I cannot wait to see it in this home. Well, let's talk about the cabinets too okay, down yeah. here. Mm -hmm. Because this is a great example of mixing different cabinets. We have yes. painted, we have wood, we have different cabinet faces mm -hmm. down here too. Yes, absolutely. So this kitchen that we're staying in is a secondary kitchen for the home in the basement, and it has some great features. We have lots of wonderful accessories. We have some floating shelves, some reeded glass design, and this amazing mm -hmm. walnut live edge countertop, and I cannot wait to see this in use. It is so, so cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. like it. I just want to tell you, is this <laughs> real? Is this real? It is very real, mm -hmm. yes. And it's, it's practical, too. Yes. So we're when we showed some people this, they were like, oh, but can you set a cup on it? You can, yes. it has a coating on it. Mm -hmm. It's very practical use as well. Yes, absolutely. So this, not, this kitchen is not the only thing in the basement though. We also have this fantastic reeded entertainment center down mm -hmm. here in the basement. So gorgeous. I love that it's a sleek look, kind of a throwback to the 80s mm -hmm. with a magnetic latch so we didn't have to put hardware on it and it's a nice, clean and simplistic look. And when we're talking about clean and simplistic, let's talk about the tasting room because I cannot wait. We have a gorgeous bar in there with some amazing work, the hardware pieces mm -hmm. on it. They're this marble, really cool feature there. And we haven't even gotten into the wine room or the uh, vault room that has even more cabinets cabinetry to it. There is so much cabinetry in that room, so much storage, yeah. so it's really practical too. What did we say, like 500 bottles or something like that? <laughs> it makes it sound over the top. Yeah, it's not. not. It's, it's not. very practical. It is. Yes. Mm -hmm. It also has a very luxurious feel mm -hmm. to it. Yeah. So cool. We have our, our refrigerated wine room, but we also then have this private collection tasting room where you could be into wines, you could be into whiskeys, you can be into anything, and we have the storage space and the really cool ambiance to go with it. But I think a lot of people's favorite down here yeah has got to be the golf simulator room. We have an amazing, really cool bar with an entire wall of tile that looks like golf balls. Yes, it, so has, that, cool. it has that pebbled feel to it. It's really, really cool. Absolutely, with cabinetry that has a rattan amazing look to it and hardware that looks like golf balls. I mean, yeah. how cool is that? So, so many features, there's more, and we can't spoil them all, so come and take a look. Okay. okay, guys, I think the Monaco basement is perfect for some country line dancing. Oh, Charity, come on, oh, line dancing. Right here, right here. Oh, okay. Here we go. Okay. Five, wait, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight. Okay. okay. Back. Up. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Great. You're crazy.
All right, guys, we're back here in the lower level mezzanine, or the mez, as I like to call it. <laughs> this is uh, Luke and I's favorite room. It's going to include a kegerator, a pizza oven. You can see the fireplace. We got some amazing steel, stainless steel cabinets that are going to go in here as well. Um, but this is a beautiful place for you to hang out. Yeah, and the best part about it is with just one push of a button, the screens are going to come down and be completely bug proof. And it's, it's weatherproof as yes. well. We have the uh, underdeck systems here. So this is, this is an extension of the house. Okay, well, it's time to close, but before we do, let's all mention what you think your favorite cabinet area is in this big, beautiful Monaco. And I'll start. The first one for me, obviously it's the golf simulator room, but Kayla, it is that cabinet with the reeded. It is something I've never seen before, but it's gonna make that uh, golf simulator room just spectacular. Absolutely. I like the fact that we have not forgot about your pet. There's the pet station and some cabinets right next to it there. Well, that sounds pretty cool, Lonnie. Oh, it's real Snoopy Doopy. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say Snoopy Doopy? <laughs> <laughs> well, out in the garage is where that pet station is okay, but for me, it's got to be the garage. All the storage cabinets that we're, we have out there is just going to be, it's going to keep everything nice and perfect out there. And you know what? I don't even need the house. Just keep me in the garage. Yep. <laughs> well, you are uh, in there a lot anyway, so when you get <laughs> right. off the doghouse. And right off that garage is one of my favorite areas, and that's the laundry room. See, my wife and I have a little bit of a Costco Sam's Club problem, <laughs> and we have enough cabinets in there that we can get anything, store it, it's out of sight, which is great. And the contrast between the wall color and the cabinets in there, just beautiful. Uh, my favorite has to be the small finishing feature that no one really thinks but makes the biggest impact is the cabinet hardware. We did something unique in every space to uh, kind of set the tone for the space. So in the golf simulator room, we have a golf ball like hardware. In the master suite, we have a leather handle. I mean, on and on, the handles make the cabinets. He, as he mentioned, the whiskey room. Ooh, the hardware uh, in that whiskey that room marbles. is so <laughs> cool. It is. Well, I know. I talk about the master setting room all the time because well it's amazing and gorgeous that's where you'll find me but the built-ins in there I don't even need furniture I already have a seat <laughs> well I love the lower level reeded wood entertainment center mm -hmm. with the magnetic latch mm -hmm. that's really oh. gonna get people when they don't know how to open it you <laughs> just press it and it opens and above it is gonna be a lot of TVs I heard so well this has been a great show but we need to finish this house so we need to get out of here Kayla will you go ahead and close the show absolutely thank you all so much for joining us today if you'd like to learn a little bit more about who we are what we do and why we do what we do so well please give us a call visit our website or even better yet come into the monaco we can't wait to show you all about it no you said i'm doing whiskey okay. I'm yeah. well it's time for you to clean up your act and come hang out with us here at the monaco <laughs> and, and, so you know what hey, guys, hey like, we gotta close uh, do we need to okay. close <laughs> because it begins to depict beauty and evoke feelings of magnificence Hey, difficult. How do you say that? Forget, forget that word. Awesomeness and quality in a brand new home. Because it begins to show the beauty in the home and it evokes feelings of magnificence. <laughs> it's a rain. I'm changing the word. Yeah, I'm changing the word. I was. We call this cabinet stage. <laughs> they're, not, they're all laughing again. <laughs> I, I feel like George W. has joined us here. He's like, magnificent. So the Monaco basement is perfect for some country line dancing. Some country line dancing charity. Are you okay. sure about this? Okay. Five, six, 